and convince my children to do so too, the matter is settled. If God make your children great, you will reap the benefit while you are alive. And when you are gone, your name will remain relevant, at least for the sake of your children. Please live holy. Live holy. Live holy for the sake of your children, for the sake of your seed, for the sake of your tomorrow. Live holy. Live righteous. Righteousness, pray, brethren. Let your heart be clean. Let your heart be clean. Be pure. That's what we are talking about. And when you get back into the book of Isaiah chapter 10, uh, chapter 3, first day. Isaiah chapter 3, first day, it say, It will be well with the righteous, and they shall reap the fruit of their doing. It shall be well. The Bible says, Say it to the righteous, and it shall be well with them. It may to be upright. I am determined that as long as I live, holiness will be my lifetime. Have you made that decision also? It's over to you, brother. It's over to you. There's nothing in this world that doesn't have a reward. There is a reward for wickedness, as I told you earlier. There is a reward for living a holy life. But do remember, that the rewarder of everything is coming one day to reward you with all these things. And I pray for you this morning as you are listening to me. The grace to live righteous all the days of your life. May the Lord give it to you in Jesus' name. What? We try our now, my son. Why were you in Jaws? He was seeking for admission. And uh, he couldn't get the admission then. Huh? Admission have closed. And somebody saw him. He didn't, the fellow did not say anything. I don't know. And at the end of the day, after about three months, the federal government came and they just they canceled the admission. And they said they should start afresh. This fellow called my son. I saw you in the school some time ago, almost three months ago. He said, Yes, ma'am. What are you coming to here to do? Say, I'm seeking for admission. Ah, okay. Well, pack your paper and everything. Tomorrow, see me. Then we are in camp, myself and my wife. My son, pack all his uh, credentials, move down to school. On getting there, without any other things, they gave him admission. Gave him admission. Finish everything. This fellow paid all the money. Oh, include the caution fees. He pay everything. Pay everything for him. And uh, when we finally returned back, we were asking, ah, sorry man, okay, how much is all the home money so that we can pay back, give you the check. We want to know. We asked my son. He said he doesn't know the amount. So we asked him. He said, my son should go. That your daughter, your, your father have done it. That he may not know, but he has done it for us. And it's reaping it now. I pray for you this morning, you my listeners that are looking at me, that in the name of Jesus Christ and Messiah, the grace for you to live the life that God wants you to live, so that you will be benefit out of it and your children, children, we enjoy it. May the Lord grant it to you in Jesus' name. It is paid to live a righteous life. It is paid. Prayer point. Prayer point for today. Prayer point today is Father, help me to live a righteous life all through the rest of my life. Here on earth, in the mighty name of Jesus. My brethren, I leave you with this one. Righteousness is not a nation. Sins is a reproach. As you go about your business today, May the grace of God go with you. Let us pray. Father, I thank you for all these your children that are listening to me this morning. We have talked much about righteousness. The grace for us to live in a righteous life. To live faithful. To live the life, O oh Lord God Almighty, that emulate the characteristics of Christ. Give it to us in Jesus' name. As you go today, the Lord will go with you. 
You know what? You will not walk into danger. I pray for this one that are listening to me, whatsoever problem you have now. In the name of Jesus, before the evening today, that problem is over in Jesus' name. You will live righteous. You will begin to serve God better. You will live faithful all the days of your life. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, sir. Be untouchable, 21.